In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to update NADN on your Hostinger VPS. This has been actually one of the most requested videos, both on my YouTube and then also for my school community. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. So all you have to do is just follow along and you'll be all set. So without wasting too much time, let's jump right into the video. All right. So for those of you who don't know uh, how to install NADN on your Hostinger, this is probably the best option in my opinion, because they're extremely reliable. Hostinger is one of the most popular hosting websites around the world. They have really great plans and it's very easy and very user friendly or beginner friendly. So all you have to do is come to this um, website right here. I'll put the link in the description so you'll, uh, you can just click on there and you'll be brought right here. So you can uh, select several uh, VPS hosting plans that they offer. In my opinion, this KVM2, because this is what I use personally, uh, this is probably the best option because it gives you uh, really like, you know, eight, eight gigabytes of RAM and then basically everything you need, especially if you're new and if you're a beginner or if, even if you're intermediate and you're using NADN for personal use. So you're going to come here and click on choose plan. So afterwards, this will take you to this, um, your card here. Uh, so you can select several periods. I mean, obviously the longer you select, the more discounts you get. They have all these really cool limited discounts um, that they have these deals going on. So make sure you take advantage of this. Uh, if you want to choose the 24 on, that's probably gonna give you the best option. And uh, so it's 61% off right now. On top of that, you can actually use the coupon code AI workshop. So if you just enter AI workshop here, I'll put this uh, in the description of the video so that way you can just copy and paste it. If you click on apply, this will actually give you additional 10% off. So thanks for hosting there for giving us an extra discount. So make sure you take advantage of that. So once you apply your discount code, uh, you're going to leave everything as it is. The ser ser uh, server location will be automatically selected. So whether you're in East Coast or West Coast, it will select that. Uh, closest server location to you and then obviously if you're in Europe or South America you can choose the one that's close to you everything else you're going to leave as it is you're going to click on continue and then this is where you'll you'll register so go ahead and register I'm just going to use my uh, Google here so after you register you'll be brought right here where you can fill in your billing address and then also the payment make sure to double check on the right hand side that you have your discount applied and then also the code as well so once you're all good to go there you're going to click on continue so I'm going to go ahead and type in information and then also create the payment and then I'm going to come back here all right so once you enter your billing information your payment you're going to come right here so you're just going to click on get started so now this will take you to the next step. This is very, very easy to install. That's why I really like this option, especially if you're completely new. So all you have to do is right here for selecting OS template, you're just gonna search for NADN. And then it's gonna pull up this right here, the applications, you have two applications, don't worry about the Q mode, just click on NADN right here. So this is gonna show you the different options here and it's the most popular one, obviously. You're gonna click on select. And then just leave this free Monarch malware scanner. It comes with it anyway. So you're just going to go ahead and leave that as it is. Click on continue. You're going to enter a root password. So make sure you select a strong password here. So I'm just going to enter my password. Everything else you're going to leave as it is. I'm going to click on continue. And then you're just going to click on finish setup. Now, this is going to take a couple of minutes, but once this thing is set up, then I will show you exactly what to do as far as updating it. And again, like I said, you only have to do this once. So once all of this is set up, we will go ahead and I will show you exactly what to do to update your NADN inside this VPS. All right, awesome. So we're done here. It just says, well done, you're ready. Now, all you have to do is come on the left hand side, click on manage VPS, and this, this will take you to your dashboard here. So pretty much you're done here. So all we have to do is now go ahead and uh, update our NADN. So whether you're doing it right away after you install this or you have uh, used this for a while and then a new version of NADN has been updated, the process is going to be exactly the same thing that I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to our browser terminal. By the way, next once you have this installed, now next time when you come in, you'll be landing exactly in this dashboard once you log in, obviously. So what you need to do is you need to head over to your browser terminal here. So this is going to open a separate terminal, a browser terminal, of course, where it's exactly like your command line, right? But don't worry about it. Don't get scared of the code or anything like that. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So that way, all you have to do is just type what I'm doing or just copy and paste what I'm doing. So let's go ahead. And first thing is I'm just going to uh, type clear. So clear is just going to get rid of all this uh, text that's in the, in the um, uh, space here. I'm going to press enter. And right now it just says root 
server 8179 or whatever, right? So now we're good to go. So now let's go ahead and walk through the update uh, step by step. So what I need to do, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my community so that way I can open this up and that way you can see exactly what to do. So I'm going to come to my um, self-hosting guide here and at the bottom this is how to update and then hosting if you're not part of the community that's okay you can just uh, follow exactly what I'm doing so I'm just gonna put this on the side so that way I can just copy paste this and I'm doing this so that way I don't waste too much of your time all right so you're here so first step is access hosting via VPS via the terminal we already did that right so we just clicked on this browser terminal and it brings us right here uh, so the next step is install docker using the official installation script here so I'm gonna do is copy this and paste it over here and if you are not part of the community just pause the screen so that way you can copy this or write it yourself so I'm just gonna press enter what this is gonna do is this is gonna install docker on your uh, VPS here now this is gonna take 20 seconds so this just gives you a warning to say hey are you sure you know what you're doing obviously don't worry about the warning because it's not like you're installing this on your local machine so it's not gonna have any impact but this just gives you a warning so don't touch it don't just leave it as it is it's gonna take about 20 seconds and as you can see it's gonna go ahead and install uh, docker on your virtual terminal or in this browser terminal so let's go ahead and let this finish and perfect, there you go. So now we got Docker installed on our uh, um, browser terminal here. So let's go ahead and type clear again and press enter. So that way we get rid of all of that text on the screen. All right, so now step two is that we need to enable Docker to start immediately on our system reboot. And the way to do that is we're literally gonna, we're literally gonna type this. So I'm just gonna paste this and press enter. So now this is gonna go ahead and execute. There you go, that's pretty much done. Uh, and then the next thing I'm going to do is download the latest Docker image. So we're just going to do Docker compose pull NADN because we need to pull the latest M uh, NADN image here. I'm going to press enter and this is going to bring in the latest update if there is any. So it's going to bring all of that over. The next step is just Docker compose down because we need to uh, safely stop and remove any kind of existing NADN container. container. So we're just going to run this command. And as you can see right here, it says removed. So let's go ahead and now deploy NADN using this new pulled image. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it over here. By the way, make sure you wait till all of this uh, is removed. So then we're just gonna type, type docker compose app dash D. So what this is gonna do is again, this is gonna deploy the newly NADN image that we pulled via Docker. Okay, everything looks good. And the next thing is we wanna make sure that uh, and it then is running successfully. And the way to check that is you're just going to do Docker compose PS. Do paste, press enter. And there you go. If everything is running smoothly, you will see all of this information that everything is good to go. Now, if you want to check which version it's running to make sure that everything is updated, all you have to do is just type this command, paste this press enter and this is going to show you exactly which version is running and the latest version is 1.91.2 and the way to check that is actually if I go to my cloud hosted so this is my cloud hosted or this is um, and it ends if you buy their cloud accounts so this is what it looks like and if I see in the bottom here whoops there you go. So this is the latest version 1.91.2, which was released literally 13 hours ago, right? And I still need to update this on, um, on my cloud account, but we have the latest one on our, uh, Docker here, or sorry, on our, and it, um, hosting it here. Okay. So that's how you check. Just make sure that if you think, if there's a new version available, you can come in and always type this command, which is this Docker, uh, exact it root nadn nadn dash v and this is going to give you the, the the version that you're currently running inside your hostinger and then obviously you will go through the same exact steps that i just went through in order to update nadn and get the latest version all right perfect so that's how you update everything so now you want to you can go back to your hostinger dashboard here and if you want to run your nadn all you have to do is click on manage app so if this is your first time, this is going to ask you to set up an account. But if you've already logged in or you've already set up an account, this will just tell you to go ahead and log in. And then once you do that, you'll be able to essentially uh, go ahead and create your workflows and use NADN just like you would 
on whether you're self-hosting on your computer or VPS or they're using their cloud account. So it's very simple, very easy. Again, just make sure you follow the steps that I just did on your browser terminal. Each time you'll be able to set up and update and get the latest version of NADN running on Hostinger. Again, Hostinger, in my opinion, is probably the best option just because how simple and how reliable it is. So if you don't have a VPS, make sure you use um, Hostinger because um, that way all of your data and all of your workflows would be good to go and you can have access to it from anywhere uh, regardless of whether you have everything running on your local computer. Anyways, hopefully you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any question or if you wanted me to do anything, any other videos with Hostinger or anything else. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you on the next one.